So I'm gonna show you how to fix a surging lawnmower. cannot see anything. I'm outside. I'm on a big tablet so I can't see much. But this is the head. I took the head off. Here's the head right here. Here's the head. This is why it's so important to clean your lawnmower because you see this? This is all metal. And the spark plug is metal. You see it's crystal clean in the center because I cleaned the spark plug. But the rest of it is black. It's really dirty full of carbon deposit, dry carbon deposit all over it. Now when this is like so, when this is like this, it's gonna be hard for your lawnmower to stay on. Okay, sometimes your, your, your lawnmower won't even start or it will end up surging or idling weird, okay? So you gotta take apart the head and come in here and clean off all this stuff. You know, just scrape it off like so. Come over here scrape it off just like this you don't want to carve too much into the into the cylinder head you know you just want to have some sense and just scrape off the black come over here and scrape off the black you know and make it bare, make it show bare metal this has to be bare metal every everything in here has to be bare metal the reason why this gets black is because it's because the piston is coming up and pushing up against the spark plug and exploding every single second more than like 50 times a second Brrr! you know so it's like that's why this thing gets all ashy in here okay because there's fire explosions so you got to come in here and clean this crap so the spark plug can sustain its electricity it can sustain a lightning bolt right in between here okay so that's why it's really important to come over here and just do this you know once a month you know, I mean, it's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts here. And you want to unloosen this one too, because there's a bracket here. It requires a 10, you know, so a 10 millimeter right there to unloosen this bracket. And then you'll take this off. Mind you, it's going to be a gasket here. So if this gasket breaks, you might want to order one online and i will post the link in the description below so you can order one on ebay or amazon whichever you prefer and when you do this your lawnmower will start again your lawnmower will run smoothly properly and be sustained for the years to come all right so this is how clean i managed to get it there's going to be a bunch of comments of because uh, there's a bunch of comments on my other videos about me scraping the shit out of this but i only scrape it to remove the black it's not like i'm in here having fun trying to dig to china you know what i'm saying so <laughs> i just scrape enough just to remove the black and try to make every corner as smooth as possible all up in here because these are where the valves these are the valves right here that one and that one these are two valves that come out one pops out then it goes back in and once this goes back in this one pops out then goes back in and this pops out you know it alternates so there's this one they pop out right in here so every surface area has got to be clean in here so you got to brush it like you brush your teeth okay and all this right here this is where the spark plug hits electricity so all this has got to be bare metal electricity lightning likes metal you know to sustain power you know that's why the spark plug is metal because it needs metal to sustain power. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I sound too uh, too uh, forward or harsh, but that's what you got to do to maintain in, to maintain your lawnmower. And you should do this at least once a month. And your lawnmower is going to thank you for it. And you're going to have your lawnmower for many, 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 many more years. Maybe an entire lifetime if you do this once a month. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Because, yeah, wind. You 
see how smooth it runs after I cleaned all that crap off the metal. Now the valves have room to go up and down and push up against the metal. It's crazy. So that's how to get rid of your surging problem when the lawnmower surges up and down. So don't forget to order yourself a bottle of Briggs & Stratton engine oil, small engine oil to be exact. SA E30 is what it takes. You just want to pour a little bit. It doesn't need a lot. That's why these bottles are very tiny. You just need to pour a little bit and it will last for life. 